Honey did the thing with the things. Uh, money, sponsorship. Thank you, honey. Yes. Okay, I'm a firm believer that you can tell a lot about a person and how they are in relationships based off of things they like, right? For example, if you like gardening, you're probably nurturing and caring. Yeah, that's sweet. Or if you enjoy Reddit, you like making other people feel bad. It, it's really no brainers here. And the same can be said for anime fans. Dun, 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 the thing, these things. So because I really like anime and hate people liking me on the internet, I decided to make a list of what your favorite anime says about your relationships. Basically, I'm going to judge you for like 10 to 12 minutes based off the shows you enjoy. Which now I think about is something anime fans have to do with every day. So it's, it's, it's just a normal day. So I'll be taking your favorite anime and seeing if you're a good partner or should probably be put on some kind of list. Gauging what your relationship life is like based off it. And yeah, just for fun, giving your love life its own anime title based on it because you are the protagonist of your own life. Or side character. I, who knows? We're going to find out, I guess. So where are you coming up with these observations? My brain, Vibby. So they're totally subjective? So let's get started. First up is My Hero Academia, AKA My Insecurity Academia. For starters, you're bright eyed and then optimistic. You know, you little Deku. So oddly enough, you're much like an anime protagonist. Also like an anime protagonist, you're probably very vanilla, but we won't get into that because I want this video to make money. Also much like an anime protagonist, you've probably been gravely hurt more times than you can count. Uh, metaphorically, hopefully, Deku's got his arm broken a lot and you've got your heart broken a lot. It, it all tracks. I mean, yo, your favorite show starts on the premise that there are people out there that are just better than others. And if you ain't got the chops for it, you should just like go be a janitor or something. I, I don't know what the janitor equivalent for a relationship is, but that's on you. Basically, the way I could take this is you believe in leagues. Basically, you think there are people that you just can't get, which is a very bad way of thinking. And that's also how I think. So either you are very extremely confident or sad, very wide spectrum here. But you do believe you can self-improve as best as you can. Hopefully in your relationship, it doesn't involve eating hair. I mean, it, it could, but then I'd have to have a whole other speculation on you. And again, I want this video to make money. Oh, and of course you're a hopeless romantic. Like I don't have to say the shipping is huge in my hero. So of course the best ship is you with someone else, which can lead to mixed results. Whether you're putting yourself with someone totally not your type or you are a normal, rational human being, I can guarantee that you're probably daydreaming about you with some of the people you've seen in your life on the daily. All in all, pretty good, realistic relationship partner. B tier for boy, you are insecure. Is this just gonna end up being you cyberbullying people for 10 minutes? Maybe, what? No, I wouldn't do stuff like that. Okay, these are just my base observations, all right? Anyway, next up is SAO, uh, AKA Simp Assholes Online. So what this anime says about your relationship is pretty clear. Uh, it's that you haven't had any. Observations. Okay, all right, that sounds bad, but it's not because they're like unattractive or annoying or something like that, you know? Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's just that, you know, for SAO fans, it's hard to go out and meet people when you aren't allowed out when the streetlights are on because you're 12. Oh. Okay, now I think about it, there is some anime cyberbullying. But putting my bias aside, I can infer that much like SAO, we can assume your relationships usually start off solid, all right? And it's good. Off the merits of your interesting initial premise, I mean, look at you, you seem great, but then, you know, things get like very rocky and maybe a little dysfunctional, which oddly enough is probably the most normal relationship on this list. Plus, you have the dedication to stick by someone even though people actively hate on it. I mean them. But the ability to stick around them, that's really endearing, yo. Like, that's something I want in my early, just someone who sticks by me despite all the bad decisions I make. Huh. Honestly, I'd date you. I think I'd date a SAO fan. Didn't you say they were 12? Oof, I retract that statement. I am, I take that back right, right now. You're loyal, which is great, and over most things, passionate. I've seen y'all on the forums. It's probably why your partner liked you in the first place. But it can also probably be the same reason you guys get into arguments. You could say your passion is a double-edged sword. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna do the next one now. Very good partner, A tier. Surprisingly. Next up is Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, AKA do my laundry and call me mommy or daddy. Okay, two very easy takes from this one right out of the gate. Uh, One, you like girls, very obvious. And two, you want girls to really like you. Like, really like you, like, really like you. All right, come on, y'all. The show is about a relationship between a woman and a maid that comes to her door and is in love with her and will do anything for her. This is a no-brainer. You might want to rethink your 
relationships. I'm a little concerned about what you see in people, which I can't really judge because I'm sitting there watching with you. I, I also have this issue. Uh, but all that aside, you're into quirkiness, intense loyalty, and someone doing your laundry, which I can agree is pretty hot. We have a problem. And this goes without having to be said. Your love language is very obviously acts of service. I mean, homie, it literally has the maid presenting plate like a like a maid would have or a butt. Like, come, come on. It's like, you could argue it's the same as a husband or wife, but come now, the closest thing, probably a maid. However, I can tell you're very serious about monogamy and are the, yo, when I get a partner, I'll do anything for them type. And chances are, you probably really want them to do anything for you. D tier for dragons and somehow smaller than the size of those things on the one character that my roommates wanted me to put in the thumbnail. Okay, next up is a tear jerker, uh, Puello Magi Madoka Magic, AKA get away from that cat. There are multiple, multiple meanings to this. Okay, two very easy takes from this one right out of the gate. Uh, one, you like girls, very obvious. And two, you want girls to really like you. Deja vu. Actually, before I go any deeper, I'm gonna drop a spoiler warning here. If you haven't seen Madoka and don't want a really good show run by just some black dude doing a list on the internet, skip here. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, so easy observation. You're really into unexpected things in your relationships. I think that's a given. Cause I mean, if you saw mommy just die, just die and still had a great time, you're either nuts or spontaneous. And, and for the sake of my own life, I'm gonna assume it's the latter. My mommy dying out of nowhere, you like your boo taking you to the museum out of nowhere, you like. You love the subversion of expectations. You wanna be surprised, I get it. But on the other hand, you want a lot of control in your relationship. But not in the yo step on me way, we already did Dragon Maid, but more in the everything needs to go as planned way. But knowing this, you're the type that won't give up on your partner no matter what. Probably a little clingy and that's a little hot. You're in it for the long haul. You're traveling back in time umpteenth times equates to like a two hour drive upstate. But in your attempts to woo your boo, you might be a little jaded and a little used to things not going your way. Now there are still a lot of other anime I can talk about. So if you like this video, let me know. And if it gets a certain amount of views, I'll do some more, more than just the four I did. But first, if you care about saving, uh, aside from waifus real quick, uh, let me tell you something. Now something I always want in my relationships is someone that will help me out at every turn and of course, love me back. And much like my previous relationships, this video's sponsor, Honey, fills one of those two roles. Yes, I am very sad. Now, I feel like I don't have to explain what Honey is. If you've seen any YouTube video, you probably already know. But there is one feature of Honey that I've seen no one talk about, and I think it's its best one. They give you money for using it. I, it it feels like a no brainer, but you know, look, we'll, we'll get to that. So as a lot of y'all already know, Honey is a free, no gimmicks, free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically tests them when you're checking out. Basically like your online shopping best friend. I've been using Honey myself for a while now. Like I remember using Honey to get insomnia cookies, which I love back in college. And I went to get six cookies for $12 and Honey turned that into me buying nine cookies for two dollars made a tweet about it all the way back in 2019 hashtag not sponsored hashtag but it could be for real my g hit me up i make youtube videos please it just took them like a year time but as you can see it works uh, past me can stand for it and current me now if i go to insomnia right now i can still get a pretty penny off and as i've learned with honey the more you shop around the more wild deals you might end up finding but the thing people don't realize about honey though is that the more you use it the more money it gives back to you you get money back like back. Basically they have this thing called honey gold, which you get each time you use honey, which stacks up and can lead you to getting gift cards. Like I, I've been using and I have like 50 gold. So now I have a $10 gift card to wherever I want Amazon, Target, want, but like yo, no brainer. <laughs> Even better, it's really easy to install, just two clicks and boom, you are saving. So you can get honey for free, again free, by going to joinhoney.com slash Kurt Ritchie. That's joinhoney.com slash Kurt Ritchie, so I know I sent you. Please consider checking them out because it supports the channel and I can continue to eat food. Thank you, honey, for sponsoring this video. See you guys. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Kurt here back with the first video of 2021. Uh, the year's already off to an awful start, so hey, at least there's content that is also awful, so it's fine. Yo, if you like this video, if you haven't already, uh, check out my last one. A lot of y'all have seen it already. Also, considering that the video made zero money, so please check me out on Patreon. <laughs> I really wasn't hoping that was the one that blew up, but hey. Thank y'all all for watching. I appreciate y'all. Hope you stick with me on this ride as we continue down the line. And yeah, that's all I got. Much love. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.